Hello everybody, welcome back to Minecraft Technic with Wily. As usual, I'm being plagued by many monsters outside of my humble abode here. Now, uh, if you were watching last episode, you saw that some young hooligans uh, had a big party at my house and didn't even invite me. So, I stole all their lamps and I put them in my laboratory. Doesn't that look cool? I think it's pretty sweet. Just being powered by a redstone torch and some red wire. Uh, that's what that's called. Something like that. Um, so cool. So, uh, last episode, I started to set up my laboratoire up here. You'll see I have a chest for all of my Thomcraft related items. I've made some extra conduits, some extra wood, some more bookshelves, and I've been getting a decent amount of research done. I have, uh, it's empty again, but I have some, um, decent amount of these little papers that you get from research called fragments. I have 13 of lost knowledge and one of forbidden knowledge, so hopefully I'll be using those today. And then I made myself a whole bunch of bookshelves to boost my research with those. Um, Alright, so to get started off, what I'm going to be doing today is showing you how to get rid of the nasty stuff that comes when you smelt things with the crucible called Taint. It's just a pretty fitting name for nasty stuff. It's that gross dark liquid in there that you can see. So um, what I need to make are, well there's two things I kind of want to make real quick. One is a V storage tank, which is very cheap. It's just four glass panes and four wood. I'm going to make another crafting bench and put it up here just so that's a little more convenient. Let's just it next to my chest. Um, I'm getting hungry. To have a steak. All right. So what was that again? Um, I need some enchanted wood. And okay, it's enchanted wood in the corners. Glass panes. Nice and cheap. And we get ourselves a V storage tank. Now this will. Um, store any extra vs that I happen to create so it doesn't uh, over flood the system so I'm probably just gonna put it right here for now um, now every uh, see it's already it's filling up with taint unfortunately now all of these items uh, in Thomcraft have a certain amount of vs and taint pressure this is complicated and I don't entirely understand how it works but basically um, a machine like this, when it re requires vis, will gain a vis pressure of around 50, I think. And there's an instrument you can use to measure it, meaning any vis in the system will get pulled through the pipes to this. Now, uh, a storage tank here only has a vis pressure of 10, so it won't keep the vis if this is pulling with a pressure of 50 and so on and so forth. Now, the other thing that I'm going to need to make today is a taint filter. Uh, fail. <laughs> fail. All right. Uh, yeah, sorry, a Vs filter. That requires something called alumentum. Alumentum? Yeah. Uh, which is just made from a redstone and a coal. Fairly cheap. Yes, nice. I had enough. Um, now I'm actually going to make two because I want to make two taint Vs filters, and I'll show you why. All right, we're going to need a little more... Um, a little more vis. See if this will be enough. Yes, yes. Cool. Alright, so now I'm going to go ahead and create two vis filters. Which requires iron, vis conduits, alimentium, and enchanted wood. Do I have all of that? I think so. One, two. Two and eight enchanted wood, just enough. Cool. So I've got two Vs filters now. Now these pull taint away from the system and shoot it into the air, basically, which is not the best place for it. It's kind of like polluting the environment, but um, 
it's better than nothing. So you can put, um, is, that, is that working? I might have to have that, I have to put that in a different spot. This doesn't seem to be pulling the taint out of this tank. Let's see here. Let's try putting it. Um, let's try this. There we go. Okay, so you can see pure taint is running into this filter. Now you can stack them one on top of another like this, and it'll take longer to filter out the taint that way, but it will also um, put less of it into the air. So I think you can stack up to four on top of one another. Um, I'm not gonna do that quite yet just because um, it takes a lot of materials and a lot of time, but I'll get it done at some point, add some more filters so I don't end up with too much taint in the atmosphere. Because if that happens, taint starts growing on the ground, basically, which is just very nasty. Um, so this isn't necessarily the best setup at the moment, but it'll work. And eventually, you'll see I'll end up with very pure vis in the tank. And I'll go ahead and put another emerald in here, just so that I can have even more pure vis hanging out. Cool. All right, so back to research. Now, this part of research is tricky, and to be honest, it's sort of a pain in the ass, but I'll show you how it works. I'm gonna go ahead and grab these fragments of lost knowledge in my bookshelves, and I head over to my Quasitum, Quasitum, and I'm gonna put my bookshelves to boost the research in the bottom and put my fragment in the top. Now I've got a 41% success rate, so it's not awesome, but it's also not bad. I'm also losing, okay, great. So I got at least one of these. Let's see if I can get any more. Nice, two. So I'm ending up with these theories. Oh wow, three. This is pretty sweet. Wow, let's go ahead and take them out so it won't fill up. Now all of these are hopefully gonna be different theories. Yeah, you can see I've got theory, potency, enchantment. Charm of Vigor, Concentrated vis, vis, and Crucible of Eyes. So, that Crucible of Eyes is a pretty neat little thing. Kind of glad I got that. So let's go downstairs. Let's let it do the rest of its thing. Actually, let me empty it. Empty it out first. Wow. Whew. I need to free up some room in my inventory. Um... That in here. What else? Conduit, I guess. All right. Should be good for now. And let me run back downstairs. I'll show you real quick. I've been doing a little bit of work on my power flower in the basement. I added on another. Uh, Collector. So we're getting diamonds at a pretty decent rate. I think I've gotten two since I just just since I started filming this. So it's not bad. Keep keep upgrading it. Keep moving moving up, moving out. Um, is there anything else I can get rid of? Let's stow a pumpkin in here. Um, I'll just I'll just have to live with a f pretty full inventory. I guess I can get rid of my divining rod now. I don't really need that so much. Cool. All right, so let's go see if we can actually get some some research done here. All right, so I got one more. Oh, and then I ran out of ran out of things. Uh, so now what you do with these is you put these. Uh, let's pick. So as I scroll over them, you can see they've got different difficulties. We've got moderate, moderate, hard, tricky, tricky, torturous. Moderate, 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 torturous, yada yada. So I'm actually I'm not sure if tricky or moderate. I'm not sure which is which is easier. So let's let's start out with moderate. So we've got a success rate of 84%, a loss of 100. Now you have to research this one five times. So you'll see each time it's successful, it gets another little light, and it won't be destroyed. Failure is only 9%, which is good, but it won't be destroyed unless all of these 
nodes go out. So it's it's very hard to lose these. So let's see. Yes, nice. So I got a discovery now. Went from a theory to a discovery. It's a quicksilver core. Let's put in another moderate one. I'd really like to research this crucible of eyes. Oh yeah, that's got a much higher failure rate, as you can see. I hope I don't lose it. I'm a little scared. Gonna need some more bookshelves as well soon. Okay, well, that's doing its thing. Now, once you get these discoveries, go ahead and put them in your hand and right click them, and it will show you how to make stuff. So a Quicksilver Core, this upgrade increases the speed of devices or thalmic creations it is attached to. Sweet, I wonder if I can attach that to a Vs filter. And it requires a quicksilver core, a stone slab, a vaporous crystal, and a quicksilver. So I wouldn't actually be able to create this, even if I knew the recipe, until I've got this in my hand and right-clicked it. Now, you don't want to throw these discoveries away quite yet, because once you get four of them, you can um, turn them into... Uh, a, a book that will hold all of your previously discovered discoveries. Sweet, so now I've got a Crucible of Eyes, which is something I might want to make pretty soon, because I it's a pretty sweet item. So you know, I need some more bookshelves, but I'm doing okay. Let's see how we make this. It's Crucible, Spider Eye, and a Redstone. Now, this Crucible holds more Vs, and is more efficient than the basic Crucible, and when it is nearly full, it will emit a Redstone signal. Interesting. Um, so basically, every time I am putting an item into the crucible, uh, its smelting value is being turned into vis and taint. However, I'm getting a lot more taint at this point than vis, so a glowstone is not going to give me 36 vis. It's probably going to give me, um, I'm not sure what the exact percentage is, so let's say, you know, at a guess, it's probably 60-40 taint to vis. So I'm only getting 40% vis, so it's, you know, that's uh, somewhere around, you know, 13 vis for each one of these glowstones and, and a whole bunch of taint. Oh, look, the taint is being purged in the system and we've got pure vis here, which is pretty cool. However, the crucible of eyes will give me a much better ratio and there's even better crucibles than that. So... Super useful. Let's see if I can real quick um, research another another one. So I have four, and I'll show you show you how uh, how you can make a, a book to hold your to keep your recipes in. Um, so let's grab a book out of the chest. I think this is the recipe. Uh, where are my books? Here we go. Get one of those. I have to remember to make myself some another couple of stacks of bookshelves soon. Alright, so come on. Let's get this. Get this thing going. Let's see, is there anything I need to do in the meantime? I should make a little more aluminium. It's always useful. And make sure my kind of complicated cool. So neat. Plenty. It's good. Keep that in my chest. Now, this was all from uh, fragments of, what was it, lost knowledge, I believe. I've also got a fragment of forbidden knowledge, which is uh, will create you a whole other class of items. And there's, um, there's, a, there's other, another two kinds of uh, knowledge. There's, I believe, tainted knowledge and... Uh, when is it? What's what's the last one? Um, well, there's another level above that even. Okay, so let's see. What haven't I looked at yet? These two: arcane focus and self repair enchantment. Cool. An arcane focus is useful. You can use those to put in an item that's sort of like a uh, thalmcraft quarry. Um, it's pretty pretty sweet looking. Now I believe if I put all of these theories, four different theories, discoveries I mean, yes, around a book I get a thalmonomicon, of course based off the necronomicon. 
Um, so sweet. So yeah, okay, here it is. Uh, Lost, Forbidden, Tainted, and Eldritch Knowledge is the one that I couldn't remember. Eldritch Knowledge is super hard to find, and it has uh, connections with the, the obelisks that you'll see in the world. There's one nearby my house, I think. Um, so yeah, so you can see here, I can just scroll through all of my theories now, and it will even tell me how to use them. Or tell me what they do, etc. Self repair enchantment. Why isn't it showing me the. Hmm. I don't know. I don't know why I can't see the recipe for that, but whatever. I'll figure it out. Um, so cool. So yeah, uh, I guess that's about all I've, uh, all I've got planned for this episode. I've got a decent amount done. Got some, some Vs going on. I've got a system to purge the taint. Oops. Holy shit. Fill in my cauldron there. Um, and I got some, some stuff researched. So I'll try to keep going with the research. Uh, go from moderate to hard until I run out of bookcases at least. And uh, keep building my power flower. Thanks a lot for watching. If you haven't already, please subscribe. Uh, also, maybe like or shoot me a comment. Share this with people or favorite if you feel so inclined. I always appreciate it. Try to get as many people to see these videos as possible. You know, help out. Teach them how to use this this complicated, complicated mod here. Of which there's not a whole lot of information to be found online. So that's why I kind of started this series. Anyway, if you found this useful at all, definitely like it. Uh, let other people know. I always appreciate it. So thanks for watching. Hope you'll tune in again. I've been Wiley, and this is Minecraft Rehab Technic with Wiley. Hope to see you again soon. Bye-bye now.